Hello and welcome to Time Bomb and the Lake Shasta update for May 2024. The water level at California's largest reservoir is currently 1,061 feet, 2 inches above mean sea level. That's an increase of 7 feet since our last update. In fact, Lake Shasta is doing exceptionally well, having risen an incredible 48 feet so far this year. The current water elevation is 246 feet above minimum power pool and five feet below the full pool elevation. Lake Shasta is just a few feet from full pool capacity and dam operators are trying to capture as much water as possible before the summer dry season kicks in in just a few weeks time. But things are getting complicated. The snow melt is happening early this year and there are more rainstorms in the forecast. This could get tricky. How high will Lake Shasta's water level get? Well, you're about to find out. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. After years of drought, many reservoirs in California reached critically low water levels in the summer of 2022. But last year brought us a historically wet winter that alleviated much of the state's drought and replenished the reservoirs. At its peak, Lake Shasta reached an impressive 98% of capacity last year in May. However, during last year's dry summer season, Lake Shasta lost a lot of water, declining to a low of just 66% of capacity. This is a chart of Lake Shasta's water level for the 2024 water year. The water year started out with three months of declining water levels. Then Lake Shasta's water level began significantly improving in January after a series of atmospheric rivers helped replenish the lake. Then there was an eight-foot decline in water levels in late February to make space for an upcoming large blizzard that hit the region in early March. In mid-April, the water level reached 1,060 feet, and it has remained around that level since that time. The current water level of 1,061 feet is 20 feet above the historical average for this time of year. The highest water level at Lake Shasta was recorded on May 31st, 2019, when the reservoir peaked at 1,064 feet. That's just a few feet shy of the full pool elevation of 1,067 feet. And we might just beat that record if we get seriously high inflows over the next few weeks. This'll be interesting to watch. The record low for the reservoir was set during the drought of 1977 when the water level dropped to 836 feet above mean sea level. When we look at previous year's water level, we see the Lake Shasta Reservoir is about two and a half feet below the water level at this same time last year. When compared to 2022, the reservoir is an unbelievable 115 feet higher. Water levels in the reservoir are even three and a half feet above where they were at this same time in 2017. That's the last time the spillway was used due to high water levels, but they may have to open that spillway soon if water levels rise much further. The current capacity of the Lake Shasta Reservoir is 4,380,000 acre feet. The average capacity for this time of year is 3,835,000 acre feet. The record low of 563,000 acre feet was set in September of 1977. And the full pool capacity is 4,552,000 acre feet. The Lake Shasta Reservoir is currently at 96% of full pool capacity. Last year, the reservoir peaked at 98% of capacity before the water levels started to decline in late May. Lake Shasta is only five feet away from the full pool elevation, but filling that last five feet in the reservoir requires a far greater volume of water than you might expect. This is due to the shape of the Lake Shasta Reservoir. Almost all reservoirs are shaped like a cup. This is due to basic geology. Lakes are narrower at the bottom and wider at the top. This is why they call the charts that are used to represent reservoir storage teacup diagrams. For example, if Shasta's waters were at the 1,000 foot mark, a five foot increase in elevation would require 104,000 acre feet of water. However, at its current elevation of 1,061 feet, the task becomes more daunting. An additional 68,000 acre feet are required. 
bringing the total to a substantial 172,000 acre feet just to achieve that same five foot rise in elevation. So while the surface of Lake Shasta seems within touching distance of its full pool, there remains plenty of capacity for the upcoming storms and the melting snowpack. Northern California had a terrific winter season that left us with an above average snowpack. This is a chart of the snow water equivalent for the Northern Sierra Trinity region. It's the snow in this region that'll eventually melt and flow into Lake Shasta. The snowpack typically peaks around April 1st, but this year the snowpack peaked on April 8th with a snow water equivalent of 34.9 inches. That's 127% of the normal peak snowpack of 28.3 inches. That is really good news. But unfortunately, the snowpack is already melting, and it is doing so at a faster rate. As of today, the snowpack in the northern region is already declined to 22 inches. That's a loss of 13 inches or 36% of the snowpack. Now I'd like to shift our focus over to California's second largest reservoir, Lake Oroville. Oroville is also located in Northern California, about 120 miles south of Lake Shasta. Dam operators have allowed Lake Oroville's water level to fill much faster than Lake Shasta. In fact, Lake Oroville reached full pool capacity on May 3rd, when the reservoir crossed the 3.5 million acre feet mark. Here is a chart of Lake Oroville's water level for the 2024 water year. That yellow line at the top is the full pool elevation. As you can see, since December 19th, the water level at Oroville has been increasing rapidly, and it continues to do so today. The lake is so full that on May 3rd, the Department of Water Resources issued a press release stating that, as Lake Oroville approaches full capacity, there is the potential for some waves to splash over the crest of the emergency spillway. It is certainly interesting times for California water managers. Well, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another episode next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.